Hello friends, welcome to Alankar Pharmacy classes again. In the today's class, I am going to tell you about another very important topic relating uh, to filtration chapter and this is filter aids. And uh, there is lot to know and lot to discuss about this topic. Uh, so without wasting our time, let's start. So the outline of the today's topic is, I am going to tell you first, uh, firstly the definition of filter aid. Then, uh, the, what are the disadvantages of the filter aids and the, what are the key properties of filter aids? Then, what are the, uh, how to use the filter aids? And lastly, I am going to tell you some very important examples also. So, let's go. First of all, what are filter aids? Filter aids are the solid inert material to improve efficiency of filter medium by preventing its blockage and forms a porous cake so as to get the uninterrupted flow of filtrate. So this is the definition of filter aids. So this definition also shows its purpose why it is uh, why you are using uh, we are using filter aid. Simply these are the solid inert materials which are used to increase the filter filtration efficiency. And in this, uh, by using the filter rate, we can increase the rate of filtration of our desired filtrate. So these are the filter aids. Now, what are the what is the objective of these filter aids? For the first objective is to form a layer for the protection of primary filter medium. Now, another thing to imp uh, improvement of the flow rate. So the improvement of the flow rate can be performed by two ways. The first way is the by increasing the cake permeability. We can increase the permeability of the cake that is formed over the filter medium. This will be the one of one measure to increase the uh, rate of filtration. And another thing that we can do that is by increase decreasing the cake compressibility. If we decrease the compressibility of the cake, that means cake will be more porous and in such case, the filtration will be performed uh, throughout the process and the filtration will not be stopped or slows down. So this, these are the ways and these are the actually the objectives of filter aids. Now what are the key properties of the filter aids? First, it should be inert and free from impurities. Now second, it should remain suspended in the liquid. It should remain suspended in the liquid. That means it should have a low specific gravity. Otherwise, it will settle down and form a, a, compress, a non compressible cake over the filter medium. And again, our rate of filtration will be slows down. So this is not the actually the desirable property of uh, a fil a filter rate. That's why it should have a low specific gravity and should be suspended in the over the liquid. Now the third, it should uh, form a porous cake. Obvious thing is this. Now the fourth, it, it should be recoverable and insoluble in filtrate. It should be recoverable enough so, so that we can recover it from the other solids or, uh, that are retained over the filter media. So it should be recoverable also and should be insoluble in filtrate. Otherwise it may start releasing contaminants in the filtrate so uh, the, this is not this is again one of the very important key property now it consists of a rigid complex shaped and the discrete particles so it should consist of a rigid particle it should be rigid enough to uh, retain over the surface of the filter media and it should have a complex uh, shaped why it is it should be complex shaped but uh, uh, if if it is uh, if it is of a very uh, regular shape then it will form a, a firm cake over the uh, filter medium uh, and other and in such cases the flow of rate again will be interrupted so it should have a complex shape so that the uh, it should form a porous layer over the filter media and which may cause the uninterrupted flow of of fluid now and the it should have a discrete particles again the reason that they should form the porous layer over the filter media now uh, while going through the definition objectives and key properties uh, uh, this is well understood about the what are the different advantages of using filter aids 
during filtration operation but there are certain disadvantages also now what are the disadvantages of uh, filter aids the first it may remove the colored substances also by absorbing such kind of substances and these kind of coloring substances may be useful for the some sort of uh, products and that's why this is one of its disadvantage now another thing it may become source of contaminants also and this is one of the very serious issue as far as pharmaceuticals are concerned and because of these contaminants it may also initiate the degradation of some components of our product so this is also another serious issue now third thing liquid adsorbed uh, liquid that is absorbed by the this filter aids may not be recoverable and or it may be very difficult to recover which will again add to the cost of our product so this is the uh, again its disadvantage and the last disadvantage is it it adds to the filtration cost so overall the cost of filtration will be increased so these are the disadvantages of the filter aids so now let us discuss uh, the next topic and that is the how to use the filter aids now these filter aids can be used in uh, in either two ways the first way it can be used as a pre coat and what is this method in this method we are actually uh, performing a coat of the filter aid over the filter medium for example the coating over the uh, filter media we are performing with the diatomite in the concentration of 0.3 to 0.6% we are actually uh, performing a coating over the filter media and that's why the uh, solid particles that is present in the liquid will done, will not come directly contact with the filter media and in this way the uh, pores of the filter media will not be choked and the rate of filtration will be uninterrupted so this is the one way that we can perform the uh, we can use the filter uh, the filter aids so typically the thickness of 1 to 3 mm range in the case of uh, diatomite we are using as a as in as a pre coat uh, as a pre coat uh, for any filter media so this is the first method and the another method that it can be used as a body feed so the is, uh, as a body feed it is also this is basically used by either of two ways in the first way either 1 to 2% concentration of the filter aid is added in, into the slurry previously and this because of the presence of filter aid in the slurry the, it keeps the filter cake porous enough so that the again the rate of filtration will be uh, will be high enough this method can also be performed by adding the twice quantity of salt solids within the slurry so this is also one of the method that we are adopting for some uh, fermentation broths so uh, the, but in actual practice this is actually uh, some uh, uh, some procedures that is written in various textbooks but actually what we are doing in a pr actual practice the concentration that uh, the, of a filter aid that is that maintains the optimum flow rate of the uh, slurry that range is selected that concentration is selected this is how the uh, most of the industries are uh, using the filter aids for their filtration operations now let us come to the examples there, there are many examples of filter aids uh, i am uh, here discussing uh, some of the very few important examples now uh, the diatomite perlite and cellulose are the commonly used uh, uh, filter aids in uh, in the many industries first of all uh, we are discussing here the diatomite so diatomite is the skeletal remains of the single cell water plants and the its uh, properties are the, it's uh, this is inert it is rigid and the, it is having a highly porous structure but it is having a problem that direct inhalation of diatomite may uh, cause the lung cancer so this is the uh, problem that's why uh, uh, diatomite is also replaced by some uh, different kinds of the filter aids in many industries now the another uh, example of uh, filter aid is the perlite or volcano rock glass so it is having an advantage of having a low density and it is inert 
and uh, the uh, and the unique thing about the perlite it is available in the purest form so there is a less chance of contaminants so this is the very important thing about this perlite but the problem is it's a high cost another thing is the cellulose now cellulose is basically a very good filter aid and it is compatible with wide variety of uh, material for example it is also a, a compatible with the hot caustic solutions and these hot caustic solutions are not con compatible with diatomite and perlite even so in this case this is also compatible and one more unique thing is this cellulose is uh, combustible so if we ignite the cellulose we can recover the solid particles that are retained by the filter aid so this is the also one of the advantages as compared to the other uh, other filter aids so uh, some many industries are also using cellulose also as a filter aid now another filter aids are charcoal as we all know that it has having a very good adsorbing property but it has having a adsorbing property for colors also and also for the some of the very important chemical ingredients for example some glycosides and uh, and the alkalides so this this kind of uh, important active ingredients are also adsorbed by charcoal so this is the uh, some uh, disadvantage uh, disadvantages part of charcoal and hence uh, these are this material is used with precaution in pharmaceutical industry so that the any part of the ingredient is not adsorbed by the charcoal now there are few more example for example kieselgar is it is having a very high porosity that's why it is also used as a filter aid chalk talc and magnesium carbonates etc are also used as a filter aids so this is all with the filter aid topic so we started with the definition then objectives then what are the key properties of filter aid disadvantages then how to use the filter aid and lastly with ending with the examples so this is all with the filter aids hope you all have liked my video so press the bell icon to get the any notification about my new videos and please do share this video with your colleagues also or classmates who are in the search of this topic and thank you thank you friends